Alright. Alright. Dave Langsather again, and we're working on tuning the Opus 15 top plate. And as I explained before, um, the graduation technique I was using uh, 10 years ago was um, thicker in the middle and then t pretty thin out here in the end, so these strips don't have the same tone. Um, and we can use the Vigdorchik method, and uh, this is Mr. Vigdorchik's, it's Isaac, V-I-G-D-O-R-C-H-I-K, the acoustical system of violins of Stradivari and other Cremona makers. And there's Mr. Vigdorchik. And uh, so, anyway, um, he talks about these, how he came up with the tone strip concept, and um, he actually ends up having a different idea of what these strips should all be tuned to. But for our purposes, yeah, I think it's a wonderful method and it's a way to adjust our plates. In uh, this case, we had all the 176. And so far we've done the first four strips and they're now... And this is the so strip number five. Okay, so the method again, we're going to make everything in this strip, uh, this 176. So first, we'll find the low spot. Here's the low spot. Actually, here's the low spot. Okay, here's the low spot. So right at the end here, it's a little bit high. And so what we're going to do is just take all the high spots down. This part's a little higher than the other. And it's, see, we're not taking a lot of material off here, fortunately. Okay, this area here is a bit higher. Take Now the overtones will change, but the bass note, the bottom part of the note, is what we're interested in. And you can really tell when you compare it to a tone reference. So. But the same difference all the way across. And the actual note is... Too low, close. Okay, it's about 170. I want it to be 176. Okay, because the whole strip is even now, almost even. Right. And. Uh, so the side this is attached to the center bout area. Uh, this is the side you take a little off the end to raise the whole strip. So from here all the way to this, this is the uh, dotted line strip. And I put a circle around it. To take off this end, we'll raise the whole strip 
and to take material from here to here would lower it. So we need to go up. We'll go in about um, the bottom about three quarters of an inch here. So we'll just evenly scrape or sand that. Okay, we'll see how that does. And that'll change the frequency of the whole strip. So I go below 176 above. 176, which is in the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to move our little markers down. So I know which strip we're working on. Now, when you come to the um, sound hole along the strip, uh, ideally you'd probably do this before you cut out your sound holes. But it doesn't make any difference if the sound holes are there or not. Putting the sound holes won't change um, the tone of the strip. And so you tune this as if the wood went all the way across. Okay? So even though the wood's not here, it's still the tone still reacts the same way. Scraping here will raise this part of the wood. So let's see where we're at. It's a little low right on this side. Slightly lower there. Right in here is a bit high, and then way out on this end. So I'm just going to take and again, since it goes so fast, you have to be careful to. Uh, Okay, so in this area, is a bit high, so I'll just scrape down here a little bit. So near the line, a little bit high. If you get near the sound hole, the tone goes up there a bit. So it goes without saying, when you're actually working on the uh, around the sound hole in these wings, you're better off just using a little bit of sandpaper or something, or you better be really supported when you work on it, because it's very fragile. And you don't want to break those off. Here, they're just slightly high. Okay. I'm supporting with the pad. Try to work with the grain to minimize the, the, the trauma. There's a high spot. I'm going to restore the line. Okay, now this part actually belongs to this strip. Okay, that's a little bit higher, so here I'm just going to have to use, I'm going to support with my finger beneath here. I'm just going to sand that slightly. Lower it down, get it in line with the goals we have. Okay, so that's getting pretty even. See what it is. That's what we want. Okay, that's higher. That's lower. That's a little higher. So we're about 168 again because we want to raise this whole strip up. The part is attached to the um, 
center bout, we'll raise it on this end. So again, we'll come in about three quarters of an inch and just do this bot, this last three quarters of an inch. And so I'm basically going to be sanding with the edge of the um, sandpaper here. So there we go. I'm just going to start near the edge. And that would include this little thing, you know, support with my finger underneath. Okay, let's see how we're doing on this tone strip. So now we're at about 175, so we're getting very close. We're moving in the right direction. the wood that we'd be sanding is gone so what's left um, has a bigger effect. Okay, this, this is what we got. That's what we want. It's a little below. It's above. We're bracketed again. So, now this tone strip is even and we've still got uh, five minutes of taping left. So put our new um, mark the strip we're working on here. Now you notice this is the part we have circled and which is on the Vigdorchik patterns this dotted line. This is the transition on this side this makes it go up on this side it makes it go down. So let's see where we're at on the next strip here. Okay this is the one we're going to be working on. So this is sounds this end way out here is the lowest. This is about the same. Okay, this part of the wing is high. So right in here in this little wing. Uh, again, I'm gonna use sandpaper. This is very fragile and I'm going to support it with my fingers. So I'm just going to be sanding just the swing by itself to start with. And then this end here is a bit high. Let's see how we're doing now. So it's a little bit high in here. And that's high so. We don't want to go over this line because we've already tuned that. So this is a curved scraper, so I'm actually only touching on our side of the line. You notice we're not taking very much material off. Which is good because we don't want to take too much material off. It's already kind of thin. I think this plate with the varnish weighs like uh, hmm. it's not real heavy, something like 61 grams. I'll take it up here.
Yeah, this is a bit high in here. A little bit of a nice spot. Again, I'm supporting on the area I'm scraping. Area is a little high. So if I do take um, a little extra material, I, I switch so I can go down grain so I turn against grain there. Okay, I'll restore the line because I'm going to need this line for the next segment I work on. Okay, just got a minute left, so let's do this real quick here. Let's see where we're at here. So it's about 170, 167. I'm going to raise it up to there. Okay, let's get our sandpaper out. Try to use a fresh edge. I'm actually going to be sanding just out here on the end. So again, it's this last, uh, and probably about from here down, is going to change the frequency of the whole strip. Now here we don't want to cross over the line to help it. I'm going to take just a little bit of the wing. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Below this. Okay. Uh, so that's the next tone strip. Done.